Hi, I'm Jill McKay and I'm a professional designer. I work with Activa Products and I help to represent Plus Clay, a new line of air dry clay. It's a very versatile clay and I like it because it's a natural clay, it's a mineral based clay as opposed to our competitors which are mostly synthetic based. It feels and acts like a real clay because it is a real clay. When they told me they were sending me air dry clay, I wasn't happy about it because most every air dry clay I've ever worked with has just been absolute weak, dry, crumbles, falls apart. I taught children for 18 years in the school system as an art teacher and I could never find an air dry clay that worked. Well, I wish I'd have had plus clay then because this is very strong clay. It is a natural clay and you can fire it, but the beauty is you don't have to. Okay, watch. That has not been fired. That is just air dried and it is so strong that it will not crumble. This clay is very versatile. It has no smell, virtually no smell. It feels terrific in your fingers. It works terrific. It's got great pliability. It's very fine, high ultra grade. It doesn't stick. It's not sticky at all. It dries very nicely. This size piece would probably dry in 24 hours, as would this. A larger piece, say this has so far about, I would say, eight pounds of clay in it. Now if I just left this out, it would take about three days to dry. So, though he's not finished, we're working away on it. So you can see the versatility of the clay. It works just like a fine porcelain does. So this clay is terrific for fine artists as well as craftsmen. It's just amazing. I wanted to work with this clay just in, in mass to see if it would move when it started to dry as far as cracking and as far as pulling away while it dries. And we have a finished portrait here that we let dry. It took three and a half days and there is no cracking. But you can see the detail that you can get with plus clay. It's really remarkable that you're able to get this quality of work from an air dry clay is really unheard of. The other thing that I think is just amazing is that you can throw plus clay on a wheel. When we tell our buyers and our artisans that Everybody is just shocked. I was shocked too. To be able to throw up air dry clay on a wheel is pretty much unheard of. It's really terrific. And again, you can fire it, and they fire it to 04 to 06, but the beauty of it is, is that you don't need to. Plus clay accepts virtually any finish. These tiles, I tried to make them look as if they were fired, but they have not been. So they have the strength of fired clay. These were simply stamped with a rubber stamp. I have that stamp. And I did not wash this stamp intentionally after I used it because I wanted to show everyone that it didn't ruin my stamp. Now I didn't use a release on this stamp either. This stamp was simply pressed into the clay and then taken away and nothing is, it didn't gum up. Now if I was using a paper clay or one of the competitors, this stamp would have been full and you would have had to dig out all the little recesses and clean the stamp each time in between. Whereas using plus clay, that's just not a problem. So basically all of these finishes are water-based except for the high glaze on this is an up two-part epoxy and the gold on this is a, a rub-on product. Everything else is a water-based acrylic. Now to be able to get this kind of a look just is just fantastic and that is because we have three colors. We have black, we have terracotta, and we have white. So to be able to start with a color background makes such a difference when you're finishing them. This terracotta background and I just use a little bit of brown and a black, use a little bit of red it's terrific. The colors are, we're the only ones that have the black clay and it's fabulous. I love it. Most of the designers go crazy too because usually to get the contrast you want to paint it black first. Well now you don't have to. So it's fabulous. Plus clay is ready to use right out of the package. There's no kneading. It's absolutely 
ready to use. It's so smooth. It feels so terrific. So pliable. It's so fine grade. No kneading, no adding of anything. It's ready to go. Plus, clay is perfect for stamping because it accepts the texture so easily. Simply roll out the clay. It's best to keep it about a quarter of an inch thick. Simply take your stamp. Make sure that you have all the corners pressed down. This takes a beautiful impression. And to make a tile, you could just cut it out and allow it to dry. I have a screen at home, an old window screen that I use I dry the things that I make out of plus clay. That way the air is allowed to circulate on all sides of the clay and it dries evenly quickly. Plus clay is great for molding. There's many molds sold on the market today. Simply take your clay, rub it, in, rub it into a ball, roll it into a ball, press it into the mold, These are flexible molds. So you can peel the mold back and pop the piece out. See my hands shaking. Put it down. Flatten it out a little. You can clean up the edges with a little bit of water. When you're working with plus clay, it's a good idea just often to keep your hands a little bit damp. That way the clay stays perfectly in the perfect condition. If you're going to be working with plus clay for any length of time, as if when I'm working on a portrait piece and I'm working for more than five or ten minutes, it's a good idea just to keep your hands damp. That way the plasticity of the clay stays nice because it, since it is an air dry clay, it does begin to dry even in your hands. Also, when you're working on a piece like this, this clay will stay workable for weeks. All you have to do is simply put a bag over it, cover it up, and it will be able to be worked on for weeks. Off and on, I can work on this portrait as long as I want, as long as I cover it in plastic. And to store the clay, once you open it, simply put it in a plastic bag. That's all you need to do. And it will not mold, and it will stay as nice as you need it to stay. It's a terrific product. Plus clay is terrific to use. It stores so well. When working on a piece that takes longer, simply dampen it once in a while with a sponge and you can continue to work as long as you like when you're ready to stop and store it take a brush dampen the entire piece and cover with a plastic bag you will be able to work with this piece off and on as long as you want. And when I say as long as you want, I mean weeks. I worked on another portrait with plus clay off and on for over three weeks without problem. This piece I worked on in my spare time off and on for over three weeks. Some of the work was even done in the dry air of a trade show. Then when I was finished working, all I did was step away, and plus clay dried perfectly. It took three and a half days for this piece to dry. No cracking, it's perfect. No warping, no pulling away, plus clay dries so well.